Hello, this is the average movie goer. Um, uh, today I am gonna be reviewing Jumanji: The Next Level. Jumanji: The Next Level um, uh, is the sequel to Jumanji: Welcome to the Jungle, which came out two years ago, and is part of the Jumanji franchise that started off with Robin Williams. Um, uh, today I'm gonna be talking about it, seeing if it lives up to the previous two. Is it good? Is it bad? And all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, so tell me what you thought in the comments down below, and let's get to it. So, I'm going to start this talking about the good. Uh, what I think the best thing about this movie is the cast. Karen Gillan, um, I believe that's how you say her name. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black. Um, they just have fantastic chemistry. When they're on screen, you enjoy their time together. And um, Danny Glover and Danny DeVito. Um, uh, they go surprisingly in depth with those two characters. I think they had the most compelling arcs, and um, uh, you get some satisfying payoff in the third act, and some a really emotional payoff, surprisingly, in the third act. Um, uh, Nick Jonas is back in the movie, and he did fine. Um, Aquafina is a new addition in it. She also did fine. She wasn't necessarily given that much to do, but like I say, she did a fine job. They've also got the Hound from uh, Game of Thrones playing the villain. He's not necessarily that much of a better villain than the last guy in Welcome to the Jungle, but he's certainly more intimidating because he is the Hound. Um, uh, so I thought that was nice. They expand a little bit on the Jumanji lore, but not that much. Um, uh, but there are some cool stuff that you learn about it in this movie. And um, uh, the action, I think the action is, um, uh, in terms of, like, compared to the previous one, it's not necessarily, like... The previous one's action was bad, but um, I think in this one it certainly handled much better. In the last one, it was a bit shaky at certain moments. Not all the time, but at certain moments, you could definitely tell they're using shaky cam and all that. In this movie, it's handled um, better, in my opinion. And um, uh, with that said, I'm going to start talking about the bad. And um, uh, the bad thing about this movie is, to be honest, the humour... Um, the humour is either repeating the same jokes as the last movie, or um, uh, it keeps on joking about, um, uh, hey, um, uh, The Rock has uh, Danny DeVito possess possessing him and all that. He's um, uh, Danny DeVito's avatar, same with Kevin Hart, he's now Danny Glover's avatar. And they keep kind of like beating you over the head. With, um, uh, they're old, they're old, they keep forgetting stuff, and all that. Danny Glover, he keeps for, um, he takes too long to explain stories, uh, Danny DeVito, he just keeps on forgetting everything, he doesn't know what a video game is, he's old, ha ha ha. Like, there are a few good chuckles here and there, and some of the new jokes I thought were pretty funny, um, uh, and there's only really one time where they repeated the joke and I actually laughed, like, they call back to the cake joke in the last movie. And that part was pretty fun, I won't spoil it for you. But um, uh, the rest of the movie, it's just... Like, there are, there, as there's a scene in it I can think of in particular that just... It goes on for really long, and I, it's supposed to be really funny. But personally, I just didn't find it funny. And when you watch the movie, you might know what I'm talking about. But, um, uh, like I say, it's just either constantly joking about old people, it's repeating the same jokes as the last movie, or it's um got... And it's got the odd new joke that's pretty funny from time to time. Also, I feel like there were some editing problems. Like, there's a scene in the movie where two characters are um, arguing um, uh, with each other. Then in the next scene, they're like best friends and all that. And it's like, what? And when you watch the movie, you'll know what um, I'm talking about. Or at least I think you will. Um, uh, we're going to talk about that in a very quick spoiler section. And, um, uh, oh yeah, that's what I've got to say about it. So, I'm going to give my rating, um, uh, I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of, uh, 10. So, anyway, I'm going to do a quick spoiler discussion, so this is only, like, two minutes. So, with, um, uh, Karen Gillan and Ruby Roundhouse and Dr. Bravestone, their names are, in, in real life, it's, like, Spencer and Martha, I think, um, uh, they're, um, they have a long-term relationship, and he doesn't like that, so he, they decide to take a break. They don't really talk to each other that much in the movie, They can't, unless it's serious stuff. At one point, they're climbing mountains, 
and then um uh, they're just like they have a very little chat and then the next scene they just start kissing and it's like you were just arguing i mean maybe not even 30 seconds ago and now you're like full on snogging each other and it's like what and um uh, with Danny DeVito and uh Donald Glover Dan Danny Glover um uh like um uh, Danny Glover um his arc is um uh he retired um because they run, run this restaurant he retired but Danny DeVito loves to work and when he lost the restaurant he felt like he lost everything so he hates um uh Danny Glover for that so, um, the fact that Danny Glover is dying, you find out later on he's dying, and then he's just trying to reconnect with his friend before he dies. I thought that was emotional. Then when he decides to stay in the game, I thought that was a great way to, uh, end it. They also tease something, um, uh, at the end of the movie, that, um, like, their, the board, the game comes to the, um, uh, at Earth and all that. So, um, real world. So I think that um uh, we actually might get a good fourth movie, but then again, it'll probably just be the same as the original. Anyway, so that's my take on uh, Jumanji The Next Level. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.